Hi, Brandon Lewis of Medic and Beauty Design. We're here at Embedded World 2020, and I'm back at the 84 booth in Hall 4, booth 149. And I'm here with Eric Berlad, who's a technical account manager. How are you doing? Hello, good morning. Um, so, we're continuing our discussion about um, ISO, ISO 26262 and how fundamental that is becoming uh, to the automotive industry. And uh, Eric, you know, with, in the terms of ISO 26262, you don't just have to qualify your code, you've got to qualify your, your, your tools to make sure they're all compliant. What does that entire tool chain look like for a developer? So, uh, what's interesting with our, our approach is that we, we consider the language really as another tool. Yeah. Uh, so you have to pick the right language uh, depending on the, the, the le level of criticity or the quality level that you want to, uh, to reach. Mm -hmm. So wha what has been done in, uh, in our last project is that we took Spark, uh, which is a subset of FEDA, um, a subset um, that is aimed at uh, doing formal proof on, right. uh, on source code. Uh, so we have been qualifying Spark this tool and then uh, qualifying compilers for Spark, which can be uh, either a direct compiler to binary code, or uh, what we have is CCG also, something converting to C code. So okay. our, our customers that are used to C have a lot of C uh, code around and that still want to see uh, their uh, old habit, they can, uh, on top of that, use Spark, uh, do formal verification, mm -hmm generate C code compiled to their uh, target using their favorite compilers. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're providing the qualification for the, the full workflow. So formal verification, uh, binary, and then testing either with our tools or uh, with the usual tools people are, uh, are using. So that's not to say that uh, because you consider uh, Spark and Ada the languages, tools themselves, it's not to say uh, that you're not going to be using any sort of static or dynamic analysis or other types of testing. It just means that because of the way that those languages are structured, it actually advances um, besides those formal proofs that you're, that you're talking about. It, yeah. it, it, it works almost as, while you're coding, you're, you're coding like you're coding for a tool, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the thing is that we uh, Ada and Spark, you, you will still do static analysis. Uh, I mean, formal proof is the most advanced static analysis uh, approach available. Uh, the difference is that you will get all the specification and way more information from the source code, so the tools, the checkers, will be uh, more accurate. Okay. So reducing the, uh, the work of the developer to understand what's the problem and finding way more uh, potential issues as early as possible. That's the, the strategy. That's fantastic. Um, well, thank you very much, Eric. I really appreciate your time. If somebody wanted to find out more about uh, your work with uh, ISO 26262 compliance, ADA and Spark, mm -hmm. uh, where should they go? Uh, on our website, uh, adacore.com. Uh, you will find a, a banner with uh, our latest uh, qualification. We're also uh, doing qualification for railway and space uh, and avionics, of course. Uh, but you will find ISO 6262 uh, references. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, you heard it. If you'd like to find out more about AdaCore's uh, tools and language offerings, visit, visit them at adacore.com.